This video is about do-it-yourself legal work. If anyone out there has decided to loan someone money by the way of owner financing when you're trying to sell something, um, which you have to be very brave to do such a thing because you never know what the person is going to do. They might stop paying you. You might have to foreclose. Anyway, that's what I did with the uh, sale of my farm in 2009. I only had one offer and I needed to sell it. So I gave the person a mortgage and now the nine years has passed and the buyer has paid everything. Um, we won't go into in this video all the other things he didn't do that he was supposed to do. That's another video I'm working on. But anyway, it's required by law to write up a satisfaction of mortgage document. The same kind of document you would have if you were loaned money by a bank and you paid your whole mortgage and you needed some proof that you paid so that nobody in the future would have problems buying the property, um, that it would be a free and clear title, and that there were no liens on the property, financial liens. So the person I sold it to has an attorney that is very unethical, just like the buyer of the farm. Anyway, the document he sent me to sign had errors in it, even with simple things such as a date on the document. Um, there also were other problems with it. Uh, he had a different address on the uh, title of an address on the top that he did on the bottom of the, the, the letter I'm supposed to sign. Um, anyway, so I studied that thing. I looked it up online. I called my county courthouse. I spoke to the official recording department of documents. I did a lot of research online. I even went to two different lawyers uh, with this document because I, I had uh, a lot of questions about uh, other matters in, involving uh, the sale of the farm and what the buyer did and did not do. Anyway, I found out that uh, I can write my own satisfaction of mortgage document. I don't have to print it. I don't have to type it. I can use handwriting. So when I called the recording office, uh, the employee there said, that's fine as long as it's legible. Think of all the documents that were handwritten in the United States, even the Constitution. In fact, it was not written in print, it was written in cursive. Anyway, I wrote my satisfaction of mortgage document in print. And I left out a lot of extra things that uh, that lawyer wrote in there that weren't even required legally. And I, I, I measured the page and I put a part for the notary to sign, to print, to affix their seal. I uh, went to my bank where they know me and they, they notarized it for free. Uh, they did teach me something. They said they could not notarize the original handwritten document of mine. but they had to notarize a copy only. And this is to prevent someone from adding something in after it was notarized. Anyway, I went to a lot of trouble. I went, you know, downtown to the courthouse and the parking and not finding the right office and all that stuff. And I had to pay, of course, but it was only $10 and I think it was $3 for the certified copies. So it was not required for this document to be mailed to the attorney of the buyer. In fact, they asked me in the recording office, who should we mail it to? And I said, what do you mean? Do you mean the attorney, the court, the, the buyer? And she said, whoever you would like it to be mailed to. And I said, OK, mail it to me. So um, it worked out very well 
and there's a lot of do-it-yourself things you could do in life, especially with legal matters. And the two attorneys I went to for advice on this subject didn't even tell me that. I mean, why do I have to dig and discover all these things myself? It reminds me of this saying, lies are for free, but the truth has to be stolen. You have to really search for it. So keep this in mind if you made the very brave decision of owner financing on a property that you wanted to sell and you were financing the purchase of the property by doing this financial lien type thing with your buyer. And be very careful. Don't sign anything fast. Whatever papers you have in the beginning when you're selling the property, don't let anyone rush you. Take it home. Go over every, every sentence in there because uh, there, there's a lot of traps in these kind of uh, deals. Anyway, call your county and if you're thinking of doing this with um, writing your own satisfaction of mortgage document and get the details from them, I presume that other counties in the United States are all the same with this, this type of matter, but I don't know. Um, I only dealt with uh, my county here in Florida. And I hope this is helpful to you. I couldn't find any information like this on YouTube, so I thought I'd uh, make my own video about it. So... There it is.